Hello everyone, this is Phoenix Animator. Hi, I'm Froggy Lumpy. Welcome back to Project Ozone 2. Episode 25. We are going to go visit what I call the preliminary... Preliminary? Um, the preliminary community seed players. Cool. Um, the preliminary, yeah. I'm just going to show that I've actually set everybody up but not actually put their stuff in. Ah! Uh -huh. But before we go, you have something that you want to make from going to the Aether. We got all those coins. We did. And if we make an alchemical coin mill, maybe we can do something with it. Maybe. Or maybe um, we can make more of those coins. I don't know that's what they're true, for. too. I don't know what they're for, though. But um, we might have to make two of these. One, because it may be player specific so go ahead and make it and see let's see what happens sounds good all right so first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to take this gold out of here we're going to place the charcoal in the bottom and fill this up with some uh cobble and that's going to make some low covalence dust and then we'll place that into the middle and we'll get ourselves the iron and the gold and there we go the alchemical Coin mill. Fabulous. Okay, now why don't we just set up the, set that up behind you, against the wall, and then if I click, oh, okay, oh, oh, oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, hello. My coin mill. My coins are going down. Okay, and I and you're getting these big things now. Oh, good grief. I'm catching all you. <laughs> that is so seriously funny. <laughs> I'm catching all your coins. So, oh my gosh, you're still going at it. Yeah. What is this, one for one? How many do you got? That's it, I'm it. Okay, so, well, here you go. There's a stack and 36 more. That's now, cool. I don't know what they if, used. Let's see. If Transmutable I, oh, EMC source. Converts I, to Aether coin and vice versa using the coin mill. If I click it's on it's EMC. What? This is worth ten thousand EMC. No way! Oh my gosh! Check this out. Whoa! Hey, that Aether was worth it. That's Look, cool. I'm just right clicking. I'm getting all my coins. So you just go to the, um, there and just kill a bunch of stuff and then collect some stuff from it and come back and convert everything to EMC. You have to use an empty hand because. Because if you, why does this keep pulling? What is down? it used for normally? There's a reason. Like, this is an add-on for EMC. So what is the coins used for normally? I wonder. I have yeah. to search that out. You have to use an empty hand because the big coin will go back into the machine yes. and become an aether coin, and it'll mess it up. So you have to use an empty hand. That's happened twice because of me doing this so fast. There we go. Two eighth coins are required to create an alchemical coin. And I I currently only have one coin left. There we go. Well, that was interesting. I got a stack plus 51. That is really cool. Okay, I'm going to put them in here. Oh, you put yours in there. We got a bunch of loot chests in there. Um, okay. I'm yeah, floral fertilizer. My, fertilizer. I'm going to take the slippers off and put my Zavicio armor on. Alrighty. So let's go outside, and that was, hey, that wasn't a quest, was it? That was a quest, actually. So, where was that at? Uh, that was under Theta. Okay. Oh, oh it's goodness. only a, an isolation cube, or isohedron chance uh, cube. Okay. Can I just throw that outside somewhere? Sure. Yeah, I think I'll do that. It's daytime now, so this is great. Um, You're holding it in your hand. I see the little disco ball. Yeah, and I'm going to just throw it out here in the water because I just actually just really don't want it. So I'm going to throw it in the water over here. Maybe I'll hit that chicken. <laughs> I doubt it. There we go. Um, so where are we okay. going? What are we doing? What's going okay, on? Okay, so if you, look, if, you're, if you put this viewing from my screen... You'll see a bunch of uh, waypoints here. Okay, we got doing it good there. Uh -huh. We got Feldray there. Uh -huh. There's another 
failed right, there's a mountain papa, and there's a mountain papa. Now, if I, whoa, run away here, good grief. If I go to, let's see, mountain papa's at 400, so if I go to 400, let me fly, 400, you will actually see these things line up, because this is how I, whoa, stop, 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 stop. This is how I did this. Okay, I'm at 400. If I'm at 400 and you look, then the Mountain Papas, two lines actually line up together. Okay. Um, okay. Now, you can see that one says Mountain Papa with uh, 400 and the negative 4, 4, 1244. That's the actual tree. Let's go there. Uh, actually, let's go to failed rays. Hers are the farthest away, so let's go to hers first. All right, we'll be hers right back. Are the then. farthest away. Okay, we're coming up on the failed rays. Now, this is the coordinates that we have are actually on the other side of this tree. So let me come down here. Uh, so this would be the actual place that did fail in her world Feldre is at now the actual coordinates that I got is this spot right here which you know being in her world I'm going okay I remember a the viaduct thing being out here maybe that's it because if you look down here, you could see I actually went down there and and looked to see about the roots, and it's like I I knew they wouldn't line up obviously because of the where the the coordinates are. Right. I know. Um, but um, anyway, here's her sign, Feldre home base, and on this side of the tree, which is the side that you see our base from our base is 2312 meters from where i'm standing right now and uh we have this little welcome home failed race on <laughs> um but this would be that's cool in her world what things looked like when she arrived approximately because world generation does vary somewhat slightly from time to time so this would be a general description of what her world looked like when she first arrived. Uh, so from here, Mountain Papa is only 460 meters, so we could fly over there and it'll just take a minute because it's not very far. Okay. They're actually not very far apart from each other. Well, we'll meet you all there. Oh, yeah, remember this tree. Uh, yeah. Um, now, in Mountain Papa's world, this <laughs> tree does not look sad it's like it does sad. in our world. Because that, uh, where did it go? It's, Where's the, oh yeah. It's over there. There we go. This, in in Mountain Papa's world, this moon Meteor? crater yep. is not it's over in that, that location. It's, it's over um, there somewhere in the field. Yeah. Over to the right. So... Our tree for his location looks wonky. Um, looks terrible, actually. Uh, but anyway, his coordinates are right here in his doorway, um, which I did hollow it. We hollowed it, this out when we were here before a little bit. I don't know. Yep. Uh, so, welcome home, Mountain Papa. Welcome home, Mountain Papa. Of course, I see, I'm reading Phoenix Animator since you're standing right there. Oh. Can you? <laughs> thank you. There you go. And this sign says Mountain Papa's home base. Okay. Let's go to the next one. So now the next one. Yes, that would be. Okay, so the next one that we have on the preliminaries would be doing it good. And how, disobedient how, Oreo. Yes. However... And I couldn't put disobedient Oreo and doing it good on this sign, which is the reason why I only have doing it good because he was the first one that that uh, contacted us with this. Um, before we get Oops. there, though, I'm going to show the how I brought you guys in. Oh, Do, okay, doing it good is only 500 and something blocks from us. 
so I didn't have to bring Doing It Good and Disobedient Oreo in. I used them as an anchor point, actually, to bring in Fail Dre and Mountain Papa. Um, okay, we'll, and how did we'll, that work? We'll, we'll see in a moment how that worked. Oh, okay. Okay, we're coming upon Mountain Papa here. Now, here's the funny thing, okay? In bringing, uh, bringing you guys closer to us so that we're not that far from you guys, uh, would you look at this? I mean, seriously, this tree grew into a mushroom tree. Oh, my. And there's an enormous amount of dark oak trees around here, so it's like, oh, good grief, there's a lot of a lot of clearing stuff to be done here. Yes, there so is. So I'm like going, oh, wait, oh, look, I just got dark oak saplings. Cool. I'm like, oh, I just gave myself a bunch of work here. <laughs> I got to get rid of all of this stuff. I don't know. But however, now I don't think I've done anything at all. Yeah, I, I didn't think so. Yeah, I don't even have the invisible door, which is red wood, red, uh, wood bark. Right. Using that to make a door and it just looks like the door. So this is the area that I will actually clean out and sort of do a, a sort of replication of of Mountain Papa's actual base. Um, now, and I say sort of because, and really I say sort of. It's more for the entrance. Because. It's a model home. Yes, and I say this because of fail drays. I am not, not going to do anything except for the like entrance part. And as you, oh, uh-oh. I got a world, uh, uh, yeah, the world ended. Okay, well, we'll be right back. Okay, so now that we actually have a world back again, I can actually see Feldray's tree. Um, and as you can see, there's all kinds of stuff around Feldray's tree, too. Yep. I don't know. New Feldray's um, model home tree. Yes, <laughs> this is the, the new Feldray. Um, but... Yeah, because her coordinates, you, it keeps getting in the way. I literally lined them up at 143. This is at 143. And so the other one is at 143, which is why it shows up perfectly lined up. So it's just brought in like a thousand something feet. And then here's the funny thing, okay? And Feldre asks about this too. To make redwood trees, I was these just about huge to mention trees. This. Excuse me. I thought I was just about to mention that. You, the even the even the seeds. Okay, let me pull it up. Even the sapling, a redwood sapling, says plant these in a seven by seven. All right. Yep. And that is what normal worlds make it. You have to plant seven by seven, and then it takes several days. Well, I got freaked out because I planted one. And then I started, you know, just sort of clearing the area a little bit because I knew it would, you know, plant this big, huge tree. And so I thought, well, let me just clear it out a little bit. And as I was clearing it out and getting toward the edge thing, all of a sudden, I only had one sapling down because it takes 49, right? I got 47 saplings. It takes 49. Um, I used one sapling and the tree grew. And so then I went to Mountain Papa's. You and used I'm one like, sapling? Oh, there you go. And the tree grew again. And I have 47 saplings left. On a, in, a, in this pack, it only takes one sapling. And the Feldray one only took moments. The Mountain Papa one took maybe maybe five minutes. I don't know. So it was, it was amazing. I was like, oh my goodness. That is that is something. So it only takes one seed in this pack. Normally it takes 49. So, but, cool. the, but That's a good thing. As I was saying before, the replication is not going to be outside because Feldre has got an enormous amount of stuff outside here. Yes. Amazing what she's done. I'm not replicating that stuff. I'm only going to replicate inside like the entrance doorway. I don't know. That's what I'm doing. And in her case, the entrance doorway is actually below ground. Uh -huh. I don't know. So I will replicate that. And... Last but not least, what we have so far, that is, because we're missing someone. Someone has not sent us her stuff. Where'd you go? And who would that uh, 
Who would that someone be? Arlyle. Arlyle. <laughs> okay, you go? now, doing it good. You did not mention if you have, this is your coordinates here. You did not mention if you no. had oak wood and stairs. Uh, I put them in because I'm like, well, I got to get up here somehow. If I didn't have flight, obviously I have flight because of the V So how did you get, oh, so ladders on this one. Okay. But welcome home, doing it good, and disobedient Oreo. Yep. Um, I, on the sign, I can fit disobedient Oreo in here. So welcome home to just doing it good and welcome disobedient home. Oreo. And you mentioned that there was a bed on the edge, so I put it over here. Pro I'm sure it's not the right sp spot. But you are only 566 meters from us. It's not so, very far away. So I thought, you know what? I'm just going to pull everybody in. Yeah. In regards to that space. Now everybody's that, pretty close to each other. And so that's what I did. I brought everybody in uh, in accordance to how many steps I stood at my base. And then I looked at everybody's waypoints. And then I brought it, brought everybody in so that it would still be according um, to Feldray's farthest out. Mountain Papa's, you know, was slightly close, closer. And, and now doing it good and uh, disobedient Oreo are approximately right here unless they change because of having to redo things. I don't know. But anyway, this is what we have so far. Um, there won't, on, on doing it good um, and disobedient Oreo, we're not doing two things because of it being in such close proximity to us. We figured yes, this was the anchor point. We figured we'd use them as the anchor point, yes. I don't know. So here we go. Um, I'm hoping that I get the rest of the information, and I'm able to put down put everybody else's in here. But the goal is to have this done by episode thirty, and to announce it hopefully on episode thirty. That's the goal. I don't know if we'll reach it or not, but I mean that's five episodes away. So I'm we'll hoping. see. I'm hoping. So there we go. Uh, seems how we're seems how we're on solid ground here. I think this is a good place to end the episode. I think so too. And it's starting to get nighttime too. Yep. So I'm Froggy Loppy. and I'm Phoenix Animator. Thanks ever so much for watching, everybody. Have a great day. Hope you enjoyed the episode. And if you have any suggestions, leave them in the comments below. Thank goodness we're on this platform because it's the Blood Moon. Ah, uh, that's what I was just thinking. Bye. Bye. See you all later. Squiddy withered away. Oh, oh no, Squiddy! I wonder where he's at. I don't know. Wow. Bye! We're far enough up. Bye! We're far enough up that we, uh... This is... You know, this idea is really cool. Yep. I like this idea. A sky block in the real world. Yeah. So you can go down to the real world when you need to. And if you actually fell off this, you, you would die because the, the drop is okay if you weren't, if you didn't have Zavicio on. <laughs> I didn't fall all the way. I caught myself. Yeah. Bye. Exactly.